Are you ready for it? You ready to do New York, um, Manhattan in three and a half days where you can cram as much in as you want to, as you possibly can? I think I need to take the time and spend the time to do, um, put the pictures in that we have, but I'm not sure if I have the energy to do it. I know it would make it better, so maybe I will. I posted a lot of shorts because there's so much, we did, we had a lot of fun. But anyways, okay, first day we get there. We take the subway down to our hotel. We get all checked in. It was great. Let me go back again. New York City is so different in July than it is in November. The last time I was there, it was in November for Thanksgiving for the Macy's Parade with my son. And it was all seven degrees. This time it was 80, 90-ish, upper 90s with humidity. I didn't know New York had humidity. So I pretty much sweated the whole time. The first day we got in at 3 p.m., which was perfect since our hotel allowed us to check in at 3 p.m. And I was prepared this time with the extra money for check-in, $50 per night, that they were going to take out of my credit card or my debit card and hold until we were ready to leave. I'm like, that's just ridiculous. I, I understand the need for it, but I still think it's dumb that they have to have a security deposit for a hotel. Anyways, from there we went and we wandered the financial district. So this is south, mid-south. Um, Manhattan. Um, we went and saw the New York Stock Exchange building. It had closed already because by the time we got there, it was like five. And I think they closed at four. Um, and then we walked over to the 9-11 Memorial and then into the new little mall that they made there by the Memorial. We would have gone to the museum, but the museum cost money. And I was determined not to spend any money to go see anything this trip. Just didn't want to spend any money. So, um, there are very nice bathrooms in the um, the mall that's right there by the 9-11 Memorial. Just saying. Um, we walked from there up Fifth Avenue's quite a ways, but not quite to Times Square. And we hopped on a subway and then we went to Times Square. Um, I was ready to walk the whole distance and Hubby's like, no, not doing that. He was great though. He was like, okay, I saw Times Square. I experienced it. Let's go back to the hotel and figure out dinner. <clears throat> so we asked our front desk clerk, who was amazing, where we, what's close and what's easy and where we can go. Oh, I got a tickle in my throat. <clears> throat> Hang on a second. I had the soda sitting here just for this. One of the clerks said, oh, there's like restaurants. You can go this way and go this way and this way and this way. And this other guy he goes one block that way, two blocks that way. There's like a street that has a bunch of tables in it and there's um, restaurants and pubs and all sorts of things all along the street and you can eat whatever you want. You can find fish and chips, you can find little pubs, you can find burgers, you can find everything. So we went, okay, we'll go there. It was awesome. It was so neat. Um, we crashed hard that night after that. We were so tired from walking and all the traveling and everything that went on. Okay. Day two. Day two, we had a plan because I sat that day and I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. all the things we want to do while we're in New York. I wanted to show Terry everything that I had experienced because I had loved in New York when I was there. Um, since he has never been there, I had a lot I needed to show him. So first we were going to go out on the Staten Island Ferry and get pictures of the Statue of Liberty. Did you know that the Staten Island Ferry is free? Did you know that it costs money to ride the Liberty Ferry to go to the Liberty Island and see the Statue of Liberty? If you want to see it and stand on the island, pay the money. If you want to see it and take pictures, take the Staten Island Ferry. It's free. It goes every like 30 minutes. Anyways, so it was kind of a big deal for Terry. He wanted to see the Statue of Liberty. And um, yeah, it runs 24 hours a day. So you can even go at nighttime and take nighttime pictures of it. So then he wanted to go to the Harley store because New York City has a Harley store. And I'm like, okay, this has got to be interesting where there's like no property to ride and I don't know how many Harleys there would be in New York City. Anyways, so we Googled it and I wanted to get my poker chip, which I got. And we went to the Harley store. I was going to get something from the Harley store, but everything there was more expensive than our Harley store and our Harley stores are really expensive. Um, so from there, we were going to walk up to the library, the New York library. It's in a lot of movies. Um, it was in one of my favorite movies, The Day After Tomorrow. And so I'm like, oh, let's go see it. So we headed that way. 
oh wait, you know what? I missed something. On the first day, we also went to um, the chapel that's right there. Oh gosh, I don't remember what it's called. Um, shoot, it was the coolest thing too. Yeah, it's not in Grant's Pass, that's for sure. Let's get to New York, find Manhattan. Here we go, I see Central Park. <laughs> the Trinity Church, and it's so cool. I got a bunch of pictures there too. I did post shorts on that, so if you wanna see those, check those out. Um, the Trinity Church was really neat. We did that on the first day too. So the second day we went to the library and then um, we went to the Empire State Building. We didn't go up because again, it cost money to go up. Um, we went and saw that and he took pictures. I went and took a picture of the Zoomies building for one of my kids that went to New York with me and I'm like, dude, I'm back. And we saw the Chrysler Building because that again is in a bunch of movies that I like. So it's the Empire State Building. Um, so we did as much as we could that day. Um, I haven't walked so much since I went with my daughter's orchestra to Disneyland in one day. So it was like 20,000 steps and I don't even know how many miles. And then we were back at our hotel for a nap at four o'clock because we're like, we're done. I'm tired. I want to sleep. We didn't leave our hotel till like 10 in the morning though. So it wasn't, I mean, it was like six hours of walking, nonstop walking. Um, and we thought we'd get an early snack and then head to bed. So we went back to that street, went back to the same restaurant and it was really neat. The guy remembered us from the night before and he's like, oh, you guys want the same things last night? And I'm like, no, I want mozzarella sticks tonight. And they, best mozzarella sticks I've ever had, ever. And I love mozzarella sticks. So friendly staff there too, kudos. Anyways, um, day three, I'm exhausted now. Yeah, by this point, I'm just like, what are you gonna do? Um, we had a list for day three as well. We had seen another ferry while we were on the Staten Island Ferry taking pictures of the Statue of Liberty. I'm like, where does that ferry go? Well, I went to Governor's Island. And lo and behold, on Saturdays and Sundays, from whatever time in the morning it starts till 11, it's free. So let's hurry up and get there before 11 o'clock and we'll get on the free ferry. We got there at 10.30. We got there at 10, the ferry was leaving. We missed that one, but we got there at 10.30 and we hopped on the ferry. It was so cool. So there was a, a castle on it and they used it as a military like protection when the British were coming in and invading, trying to take America or whatever they're trying to do. I don't know. It's a whole Boston Tea Party and all that stuff back when they were fighting the Revolutionary War and all of that. Um, so there was a castle, there was a fort there. They had people stationed there. When that was done, it turned into, oh, this is Governor's Island. It turned into a military, it was a military base and then it was a military prison. And people were in prison there that were in the military. One guy, per the um, park ranger that was there, or the whoever he was, told us a story about this guy that had the most interesting time. He um, was there for two or three days, but he had to go to prison because he damaged military property. He had taken his leave and he had gotten sunburned so severely he could not function and he had to go to jail because he damaged the military's property, which was his body, and he couldn't do his job. And he had really bad sunburn and that was what he was thrown to prison for. Anyways, he got out and went back to doing his military thing, but that's kind of funny. I thought that was hilarious that he even told us that. So we got there, we talked to that guy for a minute and we went back out and these cute little kids were riding by on this dual tandem bike. Mm, wanted it and I'm like oh my gosh I don't want to ride a bike those are gonna be expensive I don't want to do this da, 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 da. they weren't expensive I mean they were $40 for a day for an hour and like $30 for half an hour and we we're like okay let's go we'll just we'll see okay I want to ride the, uh, the bike around the entire island and so we went and got a bike and we rode nonstop around the entire island. We saw the whole thing. We saw the Statue of Liberty. We saw a bunch of stuff out in the bay. We saw the other fort. We saw all the barracks and the tents. And I mean, the governor's island is a really neat place that people go out there and take like their barbecue and go out there and have the whole day out there. It's beautiful. Um, two miles only tandem bike. It was a side-by-side -side tandem. So we, it was pretty cool. It was really cool. There were muddy hills. There were little ups and little downs, but mostly it was pretty level too. So it wasn't bad. 
Um, so we did all that in like 24 minutes. And I'm like, dude, we got under the half an hour. Let's go get our money back and we'll call it a day. So it was a great ride. Um, the views were amazing. The people were amazing. It was just, it was worth every penny. It really was. Um, so we went back on the ferry, <clears throat> went back over to Central Park. We took a, um, I keep wanting to call it the Metro. We took the subway up to Central Park and was supposed to be, Google Maps said, it was a 25 minute walk through the park to go down to see the rocks that were in the Home Alone movie because Terry wanted to see the Home Alone rocks. And I wanted to go down because I wanted him to see the um, hotel, um, the Plaza Hotel, which is kind of cool down there. Anyways. Uh, we got distracted and we were looking at this and looking at that. Oh, look, there's a statue. Let's go walk over there. Let's go walk over here. Which way are we going? I don't know. I'm all turned around. Three and a half miles later and several, several hours later, we were really tired of walking and we were still in Central Park. So we finally figured out where we were and made our way down to the Plaza Hotel and right across the street, you know what there is? There's a subway station. We hopped on the subway and headed back to our hotel, cleaned up a little bit, flopped on the bed for a minute, went and got another dinner. We ended up walking eight plus miles that day, two miles on the bike. It was nuts, but it was fun. I was tired. I slept like a rock the whole time we were in New York. All right, day four. Finally the day to go home. But our plane doesn't leave till four in the afternoon. So Terry said, one more adventure. So we headed out. We went around and wandered Battery Park, which is all under construction right now, so it's a hot mess. And we saw the other castle. That's where they sell the tickets to go to the Statue of Liberty. From there, we went all over the southwest end of Manhattan and explored what was left down there. We ended up getting a Slurpee at the 7-Eleven that's right down there by the 9-Eleven Memorial. And we headed back to our hotel to rest before our adventure to the airport. Oh, what an adventure. <laughs> we had only walked five miles, five miles that morning. My legs were a little stiff from the day before, but it was good to get them moving. And I knew sitting on an airplane was going to make them, you know, antsy. But I'll tell you about to the airport and home next time. Thanks for watching.